The Gina and Maddie podcast. Our Paradise Industry Group Stadium, where this happened on Saturday night. They're built of spectacular stuff, and they are champions of Australia and treble winners for the first time in A League history. And they're coming from everywhere to celebrate the moment. The Central Coast Mariners. The fairy tale is complete and the celebrations can begin. How good, Gina. Well, we were lucky enough to be there and I, I don't think I've ever been at anything that had that feeling where the whole crowd just stood to their feet, screamed, we jumped up and down and celebrated. 21,000, record crowd. The record crowd, there biggest crowd ever to be at Industry Group there Stadium. There was a small group of, of Melbourne supporters. <laughs> they were very vocal, very yeah. loud and I think they'd been rehearsing because they all knew songs and stuff. <laughs> but as much as they tried to be louder than us, they couldn't do it. They were loud for about 91 minutes <laughs> and then all of a sudden it was very... Very quiet very, over in that corner. Very quiet. We had some sitting up behind us as well mm. who went mm. all quiet at the end. But in the, it was the 90th minute or something. Yeah, I, so it just clicked into the 91st minute when Edo put the, the ball in the back of the net. And could just not. So then it's one all. Sent it into extra time. Extra time. Oh, and then we get to three. DiPizio it could not be the, more exciting. Yeah, yeah DePizio scored in the extra time, which took us to 2-1. And he he became the youngest ever goal scorer yeah. in an A-League grand final. And then um, Edmondson again, boom, 3-1. Right at the it end. just wasn't enough. So they needed good. one more, and the crowd wasn't yeah. that incredible to be to be. My, one of my girlfriends watched it on the telly, and she mm. said how exciting it was to watch on telly. Imagine for us and and lots of our winners, lots of our listeners yeah. came along as well. It was just oh, we spent the, the best time. Yeah, we spent the afternoon at the live site there at the um, Lee's Club Park, which Central Coast Council put on, and mm. they put it together at the very last minute. Yeah, and it was incredible. There was live music. We saw Alaskia, a yep. beautiful singer songwriter. So many min- mini games of soccer going on in you know, such so a small, small space yeah, as little well. Kick, little kickers were there. The so little that's kickers that new little, they're like four and five-year-olds kicking so the future Mariners were there. There was the, just so much food. When the little ones cleared out, there was a few man-child teenagers yeah. with hairs on their lips, top lips that were kicking it around <laughs> and having a bit of an aggressive game, which was fun. The food trucks smashed yeah. some donut balls. Jeez, I haven't... <laughs> Could have had so many more of those. It's just like I can't. People, people are coming over because we had the star tent set up there, and they're coming over and saying hi. And I'm just like, uh, yeah. I've got Nutella all over my face. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah, Gina's over there. I'm just, oh, um, oh, and it the was atmosphere. great. It was one of the best nights ever. Um, I, like I was at the uh, game when Buddy Franklin kicked his thousandth goal, and everyone ran onto the field, and that was a vibe. Mm. This was incredible. Then that full time siren went in extra time, and then like it started. It started from sort of that. That north end, and everyone started running in onto the field, and then it yeah. just continued. The scenes. There's a drone shot that um, A League have put on their uh, Instagram because obviously we were there. We didn't get to see the telecast of it, at 88 seconds it took for everyone just to get onto the field, and then there was one scene of one guy who's got his foot in a moon boot, and he's on oh. he's on like one of those mobility <laughs> scooters, and he put it, a push one, so he's like <laughs> going across the turf, pushing himself onto the field, which was unbelievable. It was amazing. Like, the, the field was full and, mm. and the, there was no way security could stop them because it was no. almost the whole the whole gang and, and went on. And they were on. really well behaved too, considering, you know, like the, you I, you look at that and you go, player safety, but everyone yeah. there was really well behaved in such great spirits, just going up to people like Vuk and just kissing him while he's yeah. doing an interview, <laughs> lifting Harry, Harry. There's a photo that's been doing the rounds of Harry Steele up on someone's shoulder, just a whole bunch of punters' shoulders, and he's just like, yeah, <laughs> just loving life sick. It was uh, unbelievable. So big congratulations Yay. to everyone at the Mariners, players and everyone behind the scenes because uh, what you have done for the community here on the Central Coast uh, is just unbelievable. The last two years has been nothing short of amazing. So a big congratulations to them. We uh, we got to go out in the field at halftime, which was fun, Gina. We did, and we got to throw what, what, what T-shirts. Sling, um, we, had, we had the T-shirt slingshot and we're firing them into the crowd. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? But you, actually, you can make it go quite a way. So you and I mm. got uh, quite a few up into the well, top. I, we came back from doing it and your, hus- your husband Rod said to me, he's like, I had to tell you, Maddie, but Gina fired hers <laughs> quite a bit further than you did. And I was like, thanks, Rod. <laughs> Good, thanks, mate. Well, it's a bit tricky. You get this little folded up T-shirt and mm. then these two strong boys hold the elastic boingy boingy bit yeah. and you pull it right back as hard as you can and then let it go. Launch it. Launch it. And and then I, at one point you've got a camera right on me yeah. and I thought, well, the people up the back have had too many. I want to aim a bit lower. Mm. And the cameraman, 
He saw him duck. Yeah, you, he you were he lining was... him up in the crosshairs. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we were fighting, but we re- we were excited to fire it as far as we could, yes. which wasn't really uh, impressing the people who were sitting right in front of us. We well, were, no. We were getting heckled at one stage, and yes. I said to you, Jen, I said, pretty sure we just lost listeners from doing this rather than, <laughs> than gaining them because that was the idea. Anyway, uh, we had the best time. If you did, all everyone that did come and say hi to us, we do really appreciate it. We had the best time, but yeah, no. Uh, what a year for the Mariners. And then, obviously, Vuk hanging up his gloves. Uh, yes. he's, he's called it quits. What a way to go out. What a way to go out. Could he, you see that coming? I, I didn't. Of, kind of. Yeah. Like, there was a part of it. What a fairy tale finish. He's played yeah. for a, a number of clubs. I think he's won a, he's won the premiership with Sydney FC before, yeah. and now he's, he's back home and pick, doing the treble here. I don't yeah. think, which is the first time an Australian club has done it in the A-League and probably Incredible. will ever. I, I, I've, I find it very hard to believe that some other club will be able to achieve what the Mariners have yeah. achieved this year ever again. So, What do you think he'll do? What will he go on to do? He is a very good talker. So if he doesn't become a pundit and a commentator, I'll be very surprised. I'm what pretty he... sure he signed on as the coaching team. Oh, is that? Uh... I'm pretty sure it was in the media release. Oh, there you go. Oh, she's she's, she's, she's got insider information, do though. She does research, have. But, um, yeah. <laughs> no, no I... he signed on as a coach. Not all of us have connections with the club like you do. She's uh, got them on speed dial. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Speed dial or DMs, one of the two. <laughs> Gina and Maddie. Yeah, you know, um, Saturday, oh, Friday night, football. What night? Saturday night. Saturday night. night. No, no. <laughs> the whole thing gets a bit merged. We it's had a, a few drinks a there. Yeah, well, <laughs> well my, my beautiful husband dropped me off uh, early and then he came back just before the game because you and I Smart. had to be there a little bit early. And also to get a good park yeah. for a quick getaway afterwards. Yes. Not, like struggling to find a yeah, park. Yeah, well, we actually parked the car in the morning. We dropped his so car clever. in the morning close so by and then yeah. we took off in my car. Yeah. And then he dropped me back in my car. Yeah. And then he rings me like five minutes later and goes, um, I've just been pulled over by the police. I went, oh, what? what have you I'm been thinking, doing? yeah, what have you done? What have you done, Rod? What are you doing? Of <laughs> course. Oh, told men. You, oh. Told you you got to use your blue car. <laughs> um, anyway, no, it's my fault. Oh. I forgot to register the car. Honestly, oh isn't that a pain in the bum? Well, <laughs> Because you don't get the stickers anymore. I'm with you Give on that. Give us the stickers again. You, you, you get in the car and you look at that date you know every it's coming. time you get in the car. You know, and you know it's, it's coming. coming. Yeah. So uh, that was a nightmare. So he had to pull over, wasn't allowed to drive. Just quickly on <laughs> registrations, i got a mate who let his rego slide. So then when he went into register, read register his car, it was yeah. the same day as his wedding anniversary. So he'd always remember his <gasps> oh, wedding anniversary. It was not see? to remember to register the car. It was to remember his wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a thing. So I just went on to the, you know, Service New South Wales app on my phone. Yeah. It's actually quite simple if you don't mind spending $800. Mm. Well, but there was, a, there was a point where they're like, is Rod going to make it or is he going to be in lockup? Is he, is he going to make it to the game? Well, when he got there, I was so sorry. I'm like, I'll go get you a drink. I'll yeah. get you chips. Do you want a pie? And some drink? <laughs> I just went and got him. I felt so bad because he was doing me the favour. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, on Service New, Th- New South Wales app now, I did it, and it was, it's ridiculously expensive. I, oh, yeah. I, it was already insured. I paid the insurance. Yeah. Cost of living. A few weeks ago. But, <laughs> but to register it. But there's a little thing you could click on that reminds you. Oh, okay. I'll so I, do I was that. Like, yes, okay. please, click on the remindy thing. Yeah. Anyway, so that all worked out in the end. It was a pain in the bum, but yeah. it worked out. But then, just coincidentally, I had to pick up a hire car yesterday. Remember my car? Someone ran into it. Oh, yes. At, when I was in Dan Murphy's. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So finally that time has come to drop my car up to Adam Smash Repairs to get it fixed. Okay. So, so how long are they going to have your car for, do you reckon? Well, I've got the hire car for two weeks, but I don't oh, think sweet. they're going to be that long. The hire car. Good. Ooh, Fancy. It's a, it's a Toyota RAV, mm. like, and it's quite, it's a bit lot bigger than mine. Yep. White, very flash. You know how you're learning how to oh, how yeah. to, all the new stuff in the Are the car? indicators on the wrong side? Or Completely. Yeah, You've got no okay. idea how many times yeah. I turned on the windscreen while I was this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and then the light, in my car, the light's coming automatically, so I'm going, ah, and it's dark. How do I turn on the lights? But I this morning I couldn't do the I couldn't put us on the radio to drive in. Oh, so, you, and you know my husband, you know what radio station he likes because you hopped in our car on Saturday night. Yeah, so, right, hello, welcome back to the ABC. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning I'm driving in listening to a, a shearing competition on the ABC. Oh, who won? Bargaminda. Who won? <laughs> Husband and, wife. Won the Husband and wife won this cheering competition oh, on the ABC this morning. Jade's on the line. Hi, Jade in San Remo. Hi, how are you going? Good. What can we do for you this morning? I just wanted to give Gina a uh, tip to remember her registration. Oh, what? Thank you, Jade. What is it? So you get one of those vinyl stickers made up with the registration date and you stick it up on the inside of your windscreen like the driver's side, yeah, and it just says Rego due 
22nd of June. Or I love that. Oh. Jade? You don't even have to put like the year on it or anything. It's just every year, 22nd of oh, June. And you just leave it there? And you oh. just leave it there. Oh, you could write on it with a whiteboard marker. And then when you need it again, you just reuse the same one. No, line. but what Jade's saying is the same time of it's the, the year every year. It's the same day. Oh, so you don't need to even put the year. Well, yeah. what do you oh, do? Wow, like, you've got to make it. Okay. Do you just make it on Canva? I'll go back, go to, back to your emails, mate. <laughs> yeah. do, you make, how did, do you just make it on Canva and then and then turn it into a sticker? Or how did you do it? Uh, well, I've got a girlfriend who's got one of those. Um, oh, the uh, cricket, cricket printer those. things. Yeah, one of those things. Oh, can you ask her to make me one? No. <laughs> Please. I certainly can. Sure. <laughs> the Gina and Maddie Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.